All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can integrate APIs inside of Clay so you can reduce the amount of Clay credits you're spending and also so you can use uh, different integrations that Clay doesn't natively have if you use their uh, API call instead. So I'm just gonna dive straight in. So this is clay.com. If you're watching this video, you probably know what Clay is. If you don't, it's basically a tool that allows you to stitch together all kinds of other data tools um, together in one platform and lets you manipulate data instead of having to use a bunch of different platforms individually. Really great if you're doing any sort of kind of sales outreach, you're trying to manipulate data um, it for your sales outreach. So let's just actually dive into Clay. So uh, I'm gonna pull up like an example table here uh, where you can see all the Clay data that I have. And so Clay has this add enrichment feature here. So this is basically all the stuff Clay natively has. So if uh, I wanna say, for example, uh, get mobile phone numbers, it's gonna show you all the different stuff that it has here. Uh, but you can see here it charges Clay credits. In some cases, they're pretty expensive. So you can see this one's 25 Clay credits per row. And if you don't know how much that is, if you go to their site here and check their pricing, depending on the type of plan you're on, a Clay credit is typically about three cents on this like 349 plan. And the higher up you go, it's a little bit cheaper. Point is, is this can get really expensive really quick. But what you can do is actually go to the provider itself um, and use your own API keys and your own uh, integration. That way you get to save money and you're able to use uh, Clay more effectively. So I'm gonna show you an example of what that looks like. So if I go over here and go to the uh, AI section, uh, let's just say instead here, I'm gonna go over use AI. And let's say I want to clean up the company name. So I say, uh, please clean up this company name so I can use it inside of a cold email and it sounds human, right? So I'm gonna insert slash company to insert uh, the company name here. And then I'm gonna go over here and set it uh, to the normal AI, not their web scraper. You can see here uh, the model and then you can see it costs one clay credit, which again is three cents. So if I wanna do this hundreds of thousands of tens of thousands of times, this can get really expensive really quick. But you can see over here, I am I have my own uh, API key in integrated. And so if I save and run this, uh, forget the prompt. This is just a super simple prompt for the sake of the demo, but I'm going to let it run here. And so normally it would cost three cents ish. Um, and you can see over here, whenever I just run it natively, it costs 0. 0.00052 cents. So you can see way cheaper. So if I want to run this at scale, so, so much cheaper. This costs like, was this a, a 50th of a penny? Uh, I can't do math, but you can see um, it's so much cheaper. And again, if I want to use this properly, I would have to um, figure out the prompts a little bit better so that it only returns uh, the company name. Again, all you have to do is add a little bit of prompting here. This isn't a prompting video. This is an integration video. So you can see how this is super useful. So if you want to run uh, all kinds of stuff at scale, you can do this. So that's just one example of using it uh, with AI and what uh, it looks like whenever you integrate stuff inside of Clay. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So I'm going to show you an example with uh, a random tool called Prospio. So I'm going to go over here into my Clay workspace. I'm going to click on my name here and I'm going to press uh, settings here in the top right. And then I'm also going to go over to connections here on the left hand side. So you can see these are all the different integrations that Clay has. So you can see all these different tools. The one I just used was OpenAI. And so you can see I have uh, a connection here. It says two connections because one of them is mine. That's how I can use my own key and that's how I can get it way cheaper. So if I want to add a connection, I'm going to show you an example with um, Prospio. So if you, if you don't know what Prospio is, it's an enrichment tool so I can get more emails. Now, let's say, for example, I wanted uh, to add a new connection. All I'd have to do here is number one, uh, press this add connection button. Then I would wanna go and sign up for a Prospio uh, account over here. So if you go over on the top uh, and you go to, to Prospio's page, then you can go over uh, to the account section. And so I'm just gonna go straight over to the API. So again, the reason why I'm using Prospio and using a uh, separate account instead of using the native Prospio integration is because I want to save money. And so you can see this is my API key here. I'm going to regenerate so you don't steal uh, my Prospio uh, credits. But if I want to use Prospio, uh, I can just copy the credits or copy the AI key here and then go back on over to Clay, uh, go and name this connection. So I'm going to call this uh, dummy connection and then I'm going to paste uh, the API key here. Now that I have this pasted, uh, I can auto set this to default so it doesn't use clay credit. So now uh, I'll show you what this looks like. So I'm going to save this uh, and test account and save. And so uh, this is going to do all its testing stuff. Awesome. There's uh, the default thing. It's called dummy connection. So now if I go back over to this table, I might need to refresh it. But now if I want to use Prospio, instead of spending um, clay credits, I can go over here to Prospio and then um, let's just 
do an example connection. Uh, I can use this dummy connection here, run it, and then it's going to use um, Prospeo credits instead of Clay credits. And so again, this is pulling up Prospeo's pricing page. You can see how much more cost effective it is compared to using Clay. Because if I go over here and I press add enrichment and type Prospeo and press find work email, you can see they charge two Clay credits to run this. Now over here on the other side, if we're uh, doing this $99 a month plan, you get 5,000 credits and one email costs one credit. You can do the math there, but I think that's like, it, it's cheap. It's a lot cheaper than Clay. So you're saving money again uh, by doing your own integrations and that's how you do it. So that's how you set up integrations for things natively inside of um, inside of Clay. Now there is the case where you want to use something that Clay doesn't have a native integration for. So uh, you can use it inside of your table, but Clay doesn't actually have uh, the native integration. So I'll show you an example here. So this is a, a tool called uh, email guard. It's useful for a lot of reasons, but one way that you can use it is to look up email hosts. So for example, I wanted to see if someone has a Google account, a Microsoft account, an enterprise account is using Barracuda, a million other uh, different email providers or whatever. I can use email guard and they have an API that I can run calls on it for. Now it would be really useful if I could throw it inside of clay here, but if you go inside add enrichment and type in email guard, um, it doesn't, uh, have it. So if I type email guard, nothing is going to be here because uh, email guard isn't uh, inside of clay. Now you can see I have a template here. This is me uh, making this myself, but uh, you have to manually do that if you don't have it existing inside of clay. So I'm going to show you how you can actually integrate APIs and do this more advanced type of thing. So you can use uh, different functions inside of clay that aren't natively there. So um, I'm going to go over here to add enrichment. Then I'm going to go over to HTTP uh, API. So this is doing like an API call inside of clay. And then I'm going to go over here and you're going to see all this different uh, type of stuff. You're going to see method, you're going to see endpoint, you're going to see query string, you're going to see body, you're going to see headers. Again, if you haven't done programming stuff before, this might look all uh, kinds of confusing. I haven't uh, done any sort of coding or programming prior to doing uh, all this sales automation stuff. So it was a little confusing for me, which is why I'm here to help you. Maybe someone who has a dev background, this is really easy for, but that's uh, not you because you're watching this video. So anyways, I'm going to go over to email guard and you can see um, I'm going over to the settings here. Again, depending on whatever tool you're going to use, there's going to be different settings. It's going to be different, but I'm just showing you one example so you can see what it looks like. So if I go over to email guard and I go over to account settings and I go over to the API or um, um, whatever settings here, you can see developer API. So if they have an API, I can integrate it inside of Clay. And so inside this developer API, it can generate an API token. We're going to need this in a little bit. And then they have like a whole API reference documentation. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and I want to use this email host lookup thing, which I already have inside of Clay, but uh, we're going to build it out with you together here. And again, this is applicable for any tool. So Whatever tool you're using, they should have any, some sort of uh, API documentation. And uh, once we're over here, you can see all this different uh, text over on the right hand side that corresponds to what you plug into Clay if you want to use it. So I'm going to have these uh, open side by side. So over on uh, Clay's side here, you can see uh, you can configure a method. So we're going to go back to email guard and you're going to see that it is a post method. So you can see request post. So over here, we're going to go method request post. Okay. Then we're going to go over to the endpoint. And so uh, the endpoint is basically the website that you're calling. So you can see this top part here. Uh, this is the endpoint. And so this is what we're going to copy. So an endpoint, it should, look, it should look like a URL. So you can see here, this is what the endpoint is and what it looks like. Now in the body, again, we're uh, the point of this uh, API is to call an email host and see what it looks like whenever you look it up or see what the... Um, the host is so you can see if you put an email it'll output gmail so we're going to uh first of all we set up the endpoint then we set up the request type which is post here then you can see there's two types of headers here so we're going to go over back here to this header section and we're going to press plus a uh, header and it, you can see it's a key value pair so there's two ends of headers here um uh, there's whenever we go back over to this email guard doc you can see this is the first um key pair section thing that you need. Again, I'm not using technical programming language. You're gonna take this first chunk here, this authorization, you're gonna copy this, and then you're gonna go back over and paste this. And then number two, you're gonna enter in um, the value here. So we're gonna go over to the doc section, we're gonna copy this, and then we're going to paste this. So again, you're gonna go over to their API docs, whatever tool you're using, it should look something like this. You're gonna see, um, and maybe there's a better way to show this. There probably is that uh, I'm just not showing. HTTP, maybe not. Let's go back to um, 
uh, the curl thing we're using. There's probably a, a better way to, to show this. Basically, all you have to do is just read whatever it says here and uh, paste it in accordingly, and it will very likely work. Okay, again, so we have all the stuff pulled up here. Um, so you can see headers, authorization is one of the header, uh, and then we're gonna have this other one, content type, and we're going to copy this and paste this. And by the way, this uh, isn't done yet. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing is looking over uh, in the documentation, copying and pasting the corresponding thing. So you're gonna need a header, you're gonna need a body, you're gonna need an endpoint, you're gonna need a method. All those things are laid out somewhere in the documentation section. Uh, and then this third piece here is the data, which is the body. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste this over in the body section here. And you can see uh, this is where you're actually making the call and we're going to want to input the email inside of Clay so that we can uh, actually make a call to the email. So we're going to press email here. So basically, we're pulling the email data inside of Clay into this HTTP API call so that we can ship it out. So this is almost good to go. The last thing is you can see here, this is a placeholder where it says your secret token. This is where you're going to want to plug in your API. So if I go back over to email guard and I press new API token and we name this token, I'm just going to name this uh, test and then I'm gonna press generate token, and then it's gonna pop up with an HTTP API token that I can copy here, and then I'm, I can paste it in here, and then we should be all set to go. So I'm not gonna paste this uh, because I'm gonna to have to regenerate, I guess I'm gonna to have to regenerate anyway, so I'll just paste it, um, but that's basically it. So now you have the method type, the endpoint, the body, the authorization, the content type, uh, basically everything we just pulled in from the uh, documentation here, and then once we're all set, we can press save, save and run 10 rows, and it should run. I say should run because uh, I just did this off of a whim and so hopefully it works. Yay, looks like it ran. So you can see here, it output the data in a structured way uh, like it shows here in the developer documentation. You can see the email and the host. So you can see the email and the host. And so now if I run this at scale, I can see all the different um, types of setups that all these companies have. Now, again, don't use my API key. I'm gonna have to regenerate this after this video. So none of you guys steal this. Anyways, that's how you uh, implement each, or that's how you implement your own API calls outside of Clay, inside of Clay. So um, that's just one example. Again, this is me free balling it off of just one random tool. If you want to use different tools, um, then you can check their uh, API documentation. Hopefully, it's usable. And again, you just plug it back inside Clay. The last little final hack. This is really useful. If you're struggling with any of this, all you can uh, really need to do is just go to ChatGPT and tell it like, hey, I'm trying to integrate an API. Here's the documentation. Here's what it looks like inside of Clay. Please go show me how I would type this in. Uh, and then it does a pretty good job of doing that. So a uh, AI is your friend here. If you need integrations, you can ask it. Just like, I would literally just control P, copy like this whole document here print it as a PDF and then upload it inside of uh, ChatGPT and say, hey, I'm trying to integrate this into Clay. This is what Clay is asking for. Show me how to do this in a structured way and it will do a pretty good job. So that's how you use uh, APIs inside of Clay. Again, if you're using a native integration, all you have to do is grab your key and plug it in inside of uh, Clay section. Uh, if you're not using a native integration, you're gonna have to dig through the developer docs. Hopefully that example showed you roughly how you can do it. Again, if you don't have a technical background, if you have a technical background, you're probably laughing this video you're like, what is this guy doing? He clearly doesn't understand all this, but hopefully this was useful to some of you people out there. So I uh, appreciate you a ton if you're watching this video. If you want to check out other videos on how to use Clay, how to do cold email stuff, uh, how to book more meetings, how to do sales more effectively in an automated fashion, check out the other videos on this channel. If you want to work with me, check one of the links in the description below. I appreciate you and take care.